Welcome to Naresai Technologies. This is Ram Chandar. In this video, especially I am going to talking about loosely coupling mechanism in Java language. Loosely coupling mechanism in Java language. It is very simple. So, loosely coupling mechanism in Java means one reference variable having the capability to hold multiple implementation classes memory is called loosely coupling. One more time, one interface reference variable can hold can hold different types of implementation class memories, implementation class memories. So, what is the meaning here? It is very simple, nothing is there. For example, I have one interface, I have one interface like interface i. In the interface i, I have one method like void m1, but if only the nature of the methods are what here? Public abstract, public abstract methods and there are three classes class A implements i, here class B, class B implements, implements i. One more thing, class C implements i. So, there are three classes and three classes implements what here? Interface i. So, public void m1 method in this m1 method, I am writing small coding like system dot out dot println, system dot out dot println, this is a class, this is a class m1 method, this is a class m1 method. Now, I am copy this method, void m1 method, control c and I am pasting here. Now, this is b class m1 method and here I am typing like this is a class, this is c class m1 method, this is c class m1 method. So, let me take one class like a test dot java, save it. So, let me take one class, what is that class like a test, in the test class I have uh, one method like public static void main, public static void main. Now, here I am writing like a string array, yes. Now, observe guys, here I am writing like a test t equal to. So, so observe guys here. What I told you loosely coupling mechanism, one interface reference variable. So, here interface is what here? I, O, B, J can having the capability to hold different implementation class memories. So, A is the implementation class of I. For example, if I am calling obj dot m1 method, obj dot m1 method, then compiler will go and check m1 method is existed in the obj type or not. Yes, existed. So, compiler will go and check this method existed, not a problem. Now, JVM concentrate on what here? whether um, what is the memory here? See, we cannot create an object for what here interfaces, but we can creating an object for what here? It is a implementation classes. A is what here implementation class and uh, placed into where here OBJ. So, method is non-static data. It is uh, participated in the method of overriding. So, definitely chance giving to what here? Subclass. Now, here class or interface expected. What happened? Let me check interface A, void M1, class B, class C, yes, what the problem? Let me check, yes, there is keyword spelling problem, class test. Now, clear the screen, Java C, test dot Java and Java test. Now, output is this, this is A class M1 method. Now, you can understand the flexibility of uh, loosely coupling. The same reference variable 
can he having the capability to hold that is what your b class memory now obj dot m1 method now in this particular time what happen same reference variable obj can hold b class memory then the method is executing from b class now one more method is there one more obj equal to one more memory obj equal to new c and obj dot m1 method now m1 method is executing from which class c class java c test dot java and java test so what is a loosely coupling the same reference variable can having the capability to hold multiple memories like a and b and c whatever the memory for which class memory we placing into that reference variable from that class memory only methods or variables are going to executing so it's very simple easy to understand let me give one real time scenario initially we have cdma mobiles cdma mobiles like uh, tata docomo or tata indicom tata indicom and one more thing is reliance related mobiles so if it is a tata indicom if it is a tata indicom cdma mobile cdma mobile definitely we must and should be use uh, only one sim what is that tata indicom sim so that mobile is tightly coupled with that mobile is tightly coupled with uh, that uh, uh, sim itself for example reliance mobile so that uh, mobile is uh, tightly coupled with what here reliance sim but nowadays what happen nowadays what happen the same mobile gsm mobile so gsm mobile gsm mobile the same mobile can having the capability to hold what is that vodafone network can having the capability to hold tata indicom network and having the capability to hold tata docomo network tata docomo network the same mobile can able to hold airtel network the same mobile can able to hold idea network and jio network see the single mobile can having the capability to hold multiple type of networks or different type of network sims is called what here loosely coupling mechanism this is tightly coupled mechanism this is tightly coupling mechanism so one is tightly coupled mechanism and the one is loosely coupling mechanism tightly coupling mechanism means what here one reference variable can having the capability to hold same reference type memory and but here one reference variable can having the capability to hold multiple implementation class memory this is what exactly loosely coupling in java language i hope you understand this video for more videos please subscribe naresh it channel thank you